kindergarten. Here we are with the fish we made last week. Now, today we're going to be adding some color. So again, you can use oil pastels if you have them. Maybe you have crayons. Either one is fine. But what you need to do is pick out some of the brighter colors, like yellow, like orange, uh, maybe a light blue, or a regular blue would be okay too. I have some more oil pastels over here, so I'm gonna grab some of those colors too. I have a light green, I have a pink. And what I want you to do is to color in your fish using all the different colors. And I want you to color so that you really press firmly on your crayon, whether it's an oil pastel or a crayon. And I want you to fill the fish body with all these amazing colors. Brighter colors are great, but you know what? I wouldn't mind if you used a red or a regular green or a darkish blue. I just want you to stay away from dark colors like brown and black. We will be using black in a little bit, but for now, I want you to stick with the bright colors. Now notice I'm not really overlapping my colors. I'm pretty much just filling in shapes of color. You don't want just one color. You want a lot of colors. So I might do a little bit of green here, and then I might do some orange down here. I might bring in, hmm, what else do I have? Oh, I have a dark green here. Bring that in. But I'm just gonna color my fish as much as possible until I really fill his whole body with color. I'm even gonna color over the eye. I'm not gonna worry about that because this is not the final fish. I'll bring some of that light blue over here that I started, bring in a little more yellow, because I had some yellow earlier, and a little light blue again, because I just love that light blue, and we'll finish up with the dark green. Okay, your fish, go back and check like I'm doing now, it needs to really have a lot of heavy color, not lightweight color. You wanna really press firmly to really get that color down. Okay, do this, and then I'll walk you through the next step.